Uh, welcome everybody. Uh, what you see here is the uh, template that I'm going to be making or the pattern for my little uh, science fair sign I'm going to make. Uh, the sign is for uh, a friend at work that needs it for their kids and I figured I'd come up with a couple designs. I use the Cricut cutter because I can tweak the size and the color and get an idea what the end product will look like. And here it is printing. Once it prints out I'm going to go right over to the table saw and cut up some uh, some wood for the um, for the uh, pattern to attach to. And I'm just using the pattern to come up with how wide I want that board to be. You know, I want to test out a technique of using Blue's Painter's Tape to attach to the to the wood. I normally use spray adhesive and I'll go right to the wood, but pulling it off can be a pain. This was limited success. I used a lot of tape and it really stuck so bad that I still had time, you know, took time to pull it apart. But uh, I figured I would give it a try, try, try this blue planer's tape so uh, to see how well that would work. All right, I'm just using some spray adhesive so I can attach it to the board and get it ready for the scroll saw. And go ahead and drilling out all of the uh, inside cuts. And then this is the part of the project I really enjoy. You know, you just turn on the scroll saw. For me, a little classic rock or folk music in the back. And take my time cutting it all out to the line. I find this black on blue or green on blue is a good contrast. You can get right to the line easily. Just using a straight skip tooth blade worked out the best for me. So now I'm here and I see this red tint um, gleaming off of something. I know exactly what this is. Even though I'm in the basement, I only have cellar windows, I know exactly what this is. We've got a spectacular sunrise. Look at that. The nice thing about stack cutting is you can make a couple of them to see which one you like better. So first one's going to have espresso with a bush oil finish on the top. Second one's going to be a black paint on the base and a green on the top. And once I was done with the finish, I got the CA glue out and went ahead and uh, applied uh, some drops along the, uh, the words so that it will uh, adhere really well. I have a trick in which I have this actual um, pillowcase full of aquarium gravel and it works really good for a weight. It holds it down really well and uh, you can see me bringing it over and plopping it down on there. And then once I did that, I got it holding down really well. It's about 25 pounds. I'll hit the other one and stack them up. It dries real fast. It's, it's Cyanic Accolade, so it does dry within just a couple minutes, but it's good to have that adhering down really solid with this weight and uh, stack them up and there we go. Of course, it's not a woodworking project until you get out the spray lacquer, so put a couple nice thin coats on there, brings out the, uh, the shine there and the colors and uh, pretty straightforward. Now the second advantage of using a vinyl cutter is that I can print out some more of those backs and what I did is I used a, a neat pattern paper and cut it in a mirror image so that I can attach these to the back to give it a final look. Now people won't really see that very often but it really does give it a, a finished look. Hit it with a little spray glue um, and adhere it to the back and it really does give a finished look and it fits perfectly because it was cut on the the uh, cutter, the vinyl cutter. All right, let's go ahead and attach a little bracket on there, just using the technique of using a needle nose plier. And a little drop of CA glue to keep the nails from backing out over time. That's the idea of stack cutting, is you could do two or three of them at the same time, and it really doesn't take you much more time than it would be if you made one on a different day. 
So two different styles. I've got the natural, more natural look to the left there, wood grain, and then of course the painted green. Which one do you like better? I'm just kind of getting an idea. I got a nice finish back on it. I think it gives it a final look really nice, sort of like a finished look to it. And let's vote. What do you think? Do you like the one on the left or do you like the one on the right? Anyways, thanks for watching. This is Chris Demetric from TDW Woodworks.